Hi guys and welcome to Heidi K Makeup. It is time to do my Pan That Palette update for the month of June 2018. So um, I hope you all are having a lovely day. If you are new, you've just clicked on this video for the first time, consider subscribing. I will have a playlist right there of my last two videos about this. But basically I am trying to finish this entire eyeshadow palette in the year of 2018. Um, this is the first year that I think I actually will finish the entire palette. I've done a couple of years of Pan That Palette where I'm just trying to hit pan on every shade in a palette, and then last year was the first year that I actually uh, tried and failed a little bit to finish an entire palette. But this one I definitely think I'm going to do. I'm so happy with the progress. So today when I'm filming this is the 28th, but I think it will go live somewhere around the 1st or the 30th or something like that, because I have a couple videos scheduled out ahead. But since I uh, met my goal on, for one of the shades and I am going to be taking a little bit of a break on the palette, I figured I'd go ahead and film it now because there's not going to be anything that's going to be happening with it over the next two days. So um, let me insert a picture. I will take a screenshot of what it looked like last month. And this is what it looks like this month. I am so happy. I am so happy with it. I'm just like moving right along. So the palette has, uh, what is it, eight, 16 shadows? Is that right? Nope. One, two, three, 14 shadows. The palette has 14 shadows and I have used up seven of them. So I, we're halfway through the year and I have used up half of the shadows in this palette, which is especially good because I've also made progress on some other shadows. And the other thing that happened this month is I have hit pan on every single shade. Last month, the, the biggest thing that you're going to notice is last month this palette or this shadow didn't have any pan on it. I hit pan on it and this shadow still had product in it and I finished that yesterday. So um, I'll go through each shade, kind of talk about how I'm using them, what I think about them, and then we'll talk about what my goals are going to be for next month. Uh, so we'll start right here. So the first shade here is hot chocolate and about halfway through the month I started panicking because I wasn't using hot chocolate and I was focused more on spirit rock which I'll talk about in a second um, and I realized if I don't really focus in on this guy I am not going to finish it by the end of the year. This is the only shade that I'm really really nervous about. Now all the shades that I have left I feel like are kind of the harder shades, the more difficult shades, shades that I can't use all over everything you know. Um, so about halfway through the month I started using that. It is a matte dark brown. It's not quite a transition shade, so I have to be really careful with like using it in my crease and whatnot. Um, and because I have a black that I'm working on, I can't even really use it as liner because then the black won't get attention. So that is the one that I'm most concerned about. And I'm like, I just am gonna have to start using it every day. So I started kind of blending it into my crease a little bit and using it on the outer corner, but you're not gonna see much progress. Spirit Rock, I think the pan has expanded a little bit. This is the shimmery black. I wish it was a matte black, to be honest, but I think it works in my favor that it's shimmery because um, Anastasia shadows are very, very soft. If you are thinking about doing a pan that palette and you're nervous, you're not sure if you're going to be able to do it, um, I would really recommend starting with something like Anastasia because these, pal these shadows are very easy to pan. Um, so because it's a little shimmery, it doesn't really translate the shimmer to the lid, but I do think it makes it a little bit easier. So I've been using that every single day um, to set my liner. I don't really need to set liner. It's just something I started doing when I started doing Pan That Palettes because I was like, I don't know how to use black. Um, and I've been using it in my outer corner a lot too. Every look, every single look, not this one today, I'm taking a break, but every single look I've just kind of used it to um, smoke out the outer corner. and. It's not a look that I really like, but it's a look that I've gotten so used to that now I feel strange when I'm not wearing black in the outer corner. It's one of those weird things. One of my goals for last month was to expand Isla. I had previously been wearing Isla only as a waterline shade, um, but for the first half of the month I wore this almost every single day as my lid shade to really, really expand the pan. Then about halfway through the month I started to panic with one of my other goals, which is this one, which I'll talk about in a minute. Um, and so I started putting that back in my waterline. But now that I've reached the goal that I was 
concerned about. I'm going to come back to using Isla next month, I think, because it definitely is a summer shade. It's not a shade that I think is going to play very well in the fall and winter, so I do want to finish this before the end of August. Um, but I'm really happy with the progress, and it is kind of fun, actually, to have a little bit of color. I actually like the color. A uh, Sherbert I had finished a while ago. I was using it as a transition shade. Hot and Cold. This was the one where I kind of panicked halfway through the month. So I do have a Get Ready With Me with Isla, which I will link in the iCard. Um, I didn't do a Get Ready With Me with this look, but I was wearing it as kind of a transition. It's shimmery, but it worked if I blended it properly. Um, but I had set a goal to finish this last month and I realized if I just wear it as a transition just really softly like I had been I wasn't going to finish it so I started using it a little bit as a um, bronzer and I started actually wearing it on the lid and an interesting thing happened with hot and cold when I started wearing it on the lid it started having more of a copper shimmer look on the lid in the transition it could look almost satin but on the lid it looked almost copper i thought it would be too dark but i actually really liked it it made my eyes look really really blue it's gone and i'm probably going to miss it but i'm glad that i finished it this month so i can go back to working on isla a little bit uh, next month treasure i had finished last month uh, i had finished at my last update it was just a really shimmery um shimmery like inner corner shade and the lid shade so we're not going to talk too much about that deep purple Ugh. this is another one i'm a little bit nervous about it's a little bit more densely packed than some of the other ones it is obviously very colorful um i've been wearing it some in the crease when i was wearing isla on the lid i started wearing deep purple in the waterline i feel like you're not going to see much pan expansion i don't think the pan is expanded at all but it is getting kind of flatter on there um but I tried putting it on my lips a little bit because I was like, oh, maybe I could pull a purple lip. It's too blue toned for that, I think. So what I did was I would like wear it on my lips and then I would layer um, a purple lipstick over the top of it and then layer this red lipstick that I'm wearing over the top of that. And it made this like Franken, Franken lip kind of thing. And that was just kind of like a way that I could use that. And I was using it in the outer corner. This is one that I'm nervous about too, but I'm less nervous about that than I am about hot chocolate. Uh, Moving up to the top, Buttery Blossom and Blush. I had already finished up my last update, so we're not going to talk too much about that. Witchy is one of those shades that um, reminds me, so many palettes have this kind of shade, and there must be people who really, really like it. It's like one of those like gunmetal, smoky shades. I don't like these. And what I've learned from years of Project Panning and almost every palette having this kind of shade is that I will never buy another palette that has this kind of shade in it. I don't like it. But um, here and there, I put it in my outer corner and some in my crease, um, and then a little bit on the lower lash line sometimes, too. I'm going to focus in on this one more in the, whoa, <laughs> my kid just busted in, more in the winter, I think. Let me get her a snack real quick. So anyways, I, I'm going to focus more on Witchy in the fall and winter, I think. I think it was a mistake for me not to focus it in on it more in January and February when it was still winter time. But I, uh, I think this is the last thing I have that looks quite like that, and I definitely won't be buying something like that. My goal was to hit side pan on it, and I did. I met all my goals this year, or this um, month, which I'm really excited about. Self Made, which is this, it's a kind of a dark gold. Honestly, I do like gold eyeshadows a lot. I know a lot of people aren't a big fan of them. Today, I'm actually taking a break from my Pan Up palette and still chose to wear a gold eyeshadow. Um, but I had saved this as the last shadow I needed to hit pan on because I knew it would be an easy shade. And it's a shade that I feel like I can wear whenever. So um, I'll focus more on, on self-made once I've kind of, definitely once I've gone through Isla and kind of focus a little bit more on the deep purple shade. But I hit pan on it pretty quickly because I had quite a dip in it last month. And I started doing something that I hadn't done for the first half of the year, which is give myself breaks. Um, I, I was starting to get a little bit sick of it. Don't mind the marker on my hand, by the way. My kid decided that she wanted to draw all over me. Um, but I had last year given myself two days off every time I hit pan on a shade and four days off every time I finished a shade. And I hadn't been doing this with this palette. I had just been like going really hard at it um, this last six months or so. And this month is when I, I decided I was going to give myself some breaks here and there, which I did. Um, so this self-made one I hit pan in pretty easily, and then I haven't really touched it much after that. 
uh, maybe here and there, like dip my brush in just to kind of mix it with hot and cold, but really not much at all, just because I know that one will be really easy. I'm not worried about that one. And then Metallic Plum, um, I tried doing that on my lips too, but just like Deep Purple, it really didn't work. Um, and I can't remember if I had side pan on it last month or not, but I do have side pan on it now. So I'm really, really happy with this palette. I really like the Anastasia shadows a lot. And even though there's some color in this, it hasn't been like scary or hard for me. In terms of goals for next month, I definitely want to make sure that I'm using hot chocolate. Um, I think I'm going to have to just use it every day for like the next year. Like really, really focus on hot chocolate. I want to finish Isla. It might not happen next month, but I, I definitely want it done by the end of August because I, def I just don't think of it as a shade that I can wear much in the fall and winter. Um, so my main goal for next month is to finish Isla um, and then just kind of universally expand pan, um, probably work a little bit more on deep purple. I think once I finish Isla, if I finish Isla next month, um, my next shades that I really am going to want to focus on are going to be Deep Purple and then maybe some of Self Made because Deep Purple, I think all of these can still work in the winter except for Isla and in the fall, but again, I'm going from one colorful shade to another colorful shade. So I would like to expand Pan in Deep Purple, finish Isla, and use hot chocolate use hot chocolate. Those are kind of my goals. Um, overall, I am really enjoying it. I want to show you a couple other things that happened. I think at my last update, I was using some stuff from my Pacifica Mystical palette. Now, I've just put this into a different project uh, because I'm kind of pulling in some other eyeshadows as I run out of stuff in here. Um, but I had like tiny specks of, of shadow left in this shade, which I was using as my highlight. That's gone. This is in a different project, but I'm using it kind of here and there actually as a face highlight. Um, so I pulled in my Pacifica Enchanted palette um, and managed to hit pan on this highlight, uh, like brow bone highlight shade, because I don't have a brow bone highlight in there anymore. I've actually been using some of the other ones too. It would be cool if I hit pan in this next month, but that's not necessarily like, it's not officially part of any project. I've been using it as a blush, um, but it would be cool would be cool because I'm thinking a lot about what I want to do next year um, for Project Pan and one of the things I've considered is doing like a project or doing a Pan That palette of all my drugstore ones which would include both of these so I want to make progress on these. Another one that I'm considering is doing a Z palette or possibly the Balm Nude Dude. My biggest contender is the Balm Nude Dude so I'm pulling in shadows from other um, from other projects right now but I'm excited. I really think I'm going to do it. Um, if you're considering doing Pan That Palette, I would recommend it. And I would recommend doing something that is, I would not recommend doing Too Faced. I would recommend doing something like Anastasia where the, the shadows are just really soft. Um, and I've actually really enjoyed having some color this month. So anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this update of my ratty uh, Anastasia self-made palette. I've been considering possibly picking up another Anastasia palette once I'm done with this one or maybe moved some more shadow out of my collection before I pick up any more palettes, but I do like the formula of this a lot. I think it's one of my favorite formulas. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give the video a thumbs up. If you haven't checked out this video or this one, you might want to check it out or that one right there. And if you hit this circle with my face on it, that will subscribe you to the channel. So I'd love if you did that and I will talk to you all soon. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.